really drug you. <laughs> I just started recording. <laughs> I mean, it was. <laughs> Have you guys ever wanted to see a bathroom without its tile? With that. Right after a drug deal happened with our neighbor? <laughs> well, here it is. This is what it looks like if you're curious. It's a little sticky. So one of the tiles in the back over here cracked and they don't make the tile anymore. So we couldn't match it. So we had to take all the tiling off. It's here in this bag. And we're gonna put new flooring on. And we're also gonna take the boards off. Well, this is Anthony's project, but I told him I will be his assistant and help him any way possible. Also, there's no toilet. <laughs> we took the toilet off. It's here in our closet. <laughs> we kind of had to because the tiling, we need to put it around where the toilet would be. But we didn't have to do that with the cabinet. No. So anyway, here it is. Anthony took it all, demolished it. I guess I didn't do it before, but if you go back in our empty house tour video that I posted like five years ago, you'd see it. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, Anthony did this. What's next, Anthony? Oh, I have to talk? Yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> anyway. Lovely. Yeah, that needs to go. Mm -hmm. uh, you said the door, right? Well, yeah, I'm taking the door off because it's going to get in the way and annoy the hell out of me. Mm -hmm. These baseboards need to go off. I've already messed up and broke the one, so we're replacing those. Um, and then after that, this board that has all the sticky stuff on it, um, it is nailed into a subfloor. So this is not the subfloor. They didn't glue directly onto the subfloor, which is kind of good because I need to take that board up and then I'll replace it with the board to your left, which is a cement board. Uh, it's known as, well, the company's Hardy Backer Board. Um, so to do that, you put grout down on the floor. Well, first you measure everything out, you get it cut to shape. Same with the tiles, you measure everything out, cut it to shape, then you put down grout, or not grout, but um, quick set. Trowel it to where it is, you put your hardy backer board down where you want it to go, um, then you push everything in, make sure that everything's getting set right, you screw it in through, through the board to the subfloor. Uh, and then after that, you then put more quick set down, even more quick set down on top of that board, and you put the tile on top of that where you want it to go, making sure that all the stages are correct. Uh, <clears throat> let that set, and then you grout it, and then you seal it, and then you put your baseboards back on, and then whatever transition to your carpet that you'd like. Yay! So there's a lot there, and I'm probably gonna screw it up a couple times, but it's fine. Yeah, it's we're a little cheaper than having somebody do it for me. Yeah, Anthony is ambitious and he's gonna do it himself. His dad has kind of told him what he needs to do, and he's been watching YouTube videos, so you we're gonna anything. give it a try. You can find anything on YouTube. That's all right. Even me and you. Yeah. <laughs> um, I wanted to show you guys. We finished painting our master bedroom. So if you guys remember, this used to be like a blue. A dark blue light blue i don't know now it's gray so we finished this and then also we finished the master bathroom i basically painted this whole thing by myself so i did the whole room and it's all good now i gotta fix one of the lights that went out but we are basically at a standstill for painting we kind of debated on whether we wanted to do the hallway it's this like brown color, I'll show you. So here's the hallway. It's like a brown color, it's not bad. Anthony thinks it's kind of dark, which it kind of is. And then of course, like the kids' rooms, the kids are in Toledo, that's why you don't see them. So like Porter's room is like a dark green color. Grayson's room is like a gray, so it's totally fine. Like we really wouldn't need to do anything with this. It's like a blue gray, but it works. 
And then this is like the guest room slash Anthony's office. And it's kind of hard to tell right now because it's like the sun is setting, but it's like a light green color. So I think this color is fine. And gray's color is fine. Porter's room is kind of crazy, but like it's a small room. So if people don't like it, they could change it. And then I think the hallway is fine too. But basically we decided we're going to stop painting for now. We do need to go back and do touch-ups. I do need to do that. But we're going to stop painting for now. We're going to focus on the bathroom and fixing that and the flooring. And then um, we want to make some changes to the basement and add some like shelving and put up some walls. So we're going to do that after we finish the bathroom. After we finish all that, if we still haven't found a house, then we'll paint the hallway. So it just kind of depends on what comes first. Um, a house kind of came up out of the blue. Well, it's been up since Friday. Today's Monday. So it's been up through the weekend and it was priced like at the very high end of our budget. And then just today they dropped it like $10,000. And so it's kind of, it's still like in the high end of our budget, but it's like more reasonable. And if they dropped it, like maybe they're more desperate. So I contacted a realtor and we're going to go look at it tomorrow. Um, since I don't have the kids, I can go like during the day, which is wild. So we're going to go during the day. Um, Anthony's a little busy, so I might have to FaceTime him or just kind of make the decision myself or something. But we're going to go check it out, see what it's about. This one is a five bedroom house, which is like, whoa, I think one of the bedrooms is in the basement. I don't know. We have to go see. So we'll go check it out, um, see if it's worth our time or like what what it's looking like there were actually a couple houses i was just talking to anthony about this there were actually a couple houses that were up over the weekend and then just today have dropped their price so i don't know if it's like a change in the market the stock market is going really crazy right now so i don't know if that's affecting it but maybe people aren't bidding on houses right now i don't know um so we'll just see we'll see what what things are looking like but um, I guess I actually have plans tomorrow, so that's exciting because I really didn't have much going on. Um, like I said, the boys are in Toledo. They're there until Friday, so we have the whole week. We just got back from Indianapolis um, yesterday, well, last weekend. We had that wedding, and then we just spent the Sunday in Indianapolis. So now we're back. I went and did some work at my part-time job. Anthony worked, and now we're working on the house. I'm folding laundry Anthony's working on the bathroom and now I'm going to help him with whatever he needs. So I'll like vlog any updates that are made to the bathroom um, and let you guys know. I don't know if you're interested in this kind of content, but the good news is that, sorry, I just turned the light off. The good news is that once Anthony figures out how to do this, we could do it again <laughs> if we needed to. So definitely um, good to, a good skill to learn, I think. Do you have any more to say? We don't have a door. Oh, oh I, I can film that. We don't have a door anymore. So that was pretty easy. And now Anthony's gonna take up this, what is this thing called? Door. It's a transition strip. Transition strip. The new flooring is downstairs. I'll show you guys in a little bit. It's like white floor. So I think it'll be pretty with the gray walls. Porcelain. Yeah, we got porcelain, which what was this? Uh, this is vinyl. Vinyl. So we're gonna do porcelain. And you could go film our other bathroom. It's the same floor as what's in Oh, there. yeah. Okay, I'll go do that. Yeah, they made a good point. So the floor in the guest bathroom upstairs is the same as the floor that we used to have. So I'll show you guys because then you'll get like an idea. Okay, so here's the flooring. So like it was fine, but like since it's vinyl, like if water gets on it, like it is not waterproof at all. And so it will damage. So thankfully this bathroom is fine. Um, we really don't have to do anything to it. The other good thing is that the master bathroom is tiny. So there's not that much flooring that Anthony has to do and like fix. Um, it's still more than nothing, but it's definitely um, not like anything as big as like our kitchen or a huge family room or anything. It's just our, our tiny bathroom. Anthony's excited about something. Shannon can't help but vlog it. What are you, what are you excited about? This board is at the bathroom. Yep. Are you worried it would go under the carpet? Oh, yep. oh, oh. Don't step over here, these have nails in them. Okay. We're just getting into the nitty gritty. Yeah, so this 
wood underneath here. If you want to get a close up, I'll point these things out so you can do a little DIY. This wood down here, that's your subfloor. Oh. So you put things on top of your subfloor. So when they did the vinyl flooring, they put this quarter inch board here in so that they could have it level with wherever the carpet was gonna go. I see. Or as level as you can possibly get it. And then your carpet gets nailed in around the edges here. This, you have padding just to make your car a bit nice and squishy. And you have these nail boards all around here and those are just to keep the edges of the carpet down. So they even extend around here. That's what keeps the edges down. If you step on them, they hurt, especially if you don't have shoes on. Yeah. But this board, if you haven't heard me do that at all, today has a bunch of glue on it and I was hoping that they didn't glue the vinyl to the subfloor and I was thinking that they didn't and because they didn't now I can just take that board up and not have to worry about removing glue because that hardy backer board right there should just replace this board up altogether. Is it going to be hard to take that flooring up? Uh no it should if I'm correct go around the room exactly to the room size because that's where this uh, vinyl flooring went in. So I should just be able to take off the baseboard and it should just be a bunch of nails. Oh, okay. So it's gonna be a lot of prying. Okay, getting your arm work out today. Sure. But yes, be careful, Shannon, because that carpet will, or that edge strip right there will cut you. I've done it multiple times. Okay. Um... Not in this project, just in my life. Because, you know, I've, I've stepped on like carpet nails before something it sucks. Yeah, it's not fun. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Okay, yeah, we'll tune back in if anything interesting happens. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so update on the bathroom. Anthony got all of the sticky floor off. And now this is just the uh, sub floor. So, um... He made really good work. He got all the uh, baseboards off and I think he said he has to level some of it out because some of it's been like replaced and stuff, but it's looking pretty good. He's been working really hard on it and um, it's a little messy in there, but it'll be worth it in the end. He said he's really excited to have it look so much better than what it did so i'm excited to see it too i spent my night doing touch-ups um, i got the ceiling paint out and i've been going through every room and getting um the ceiling and uh, any touch-ups needed so i got a lot i got all of downstairs and then i started in here but i didn't get all the way so i have to do more tomorrow but yeah that was our night uh, we'll do more tomorrow so make sure to subscribe like this video let me know if you want to see more like home renovation type videos i really don't know how many more i would have but um depending on our next house and how much work it needs maybe we'll do more we'll see but i just thought this would be interesting where this is our first time ever like taking on a project like this so um, well, we're, it's really Anthony doing it, so hopefully it comes out really well. Stay tuned to see the final product. Um, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!